Hi, I'm Mike Caruso, the Amsoil Product Manager for Drivetrain, and joining us later will be Peter Markham, the Eastern Regional Sales Manager. Modern transmission fluids are perhaps the most complicated fluids available, and this presentation will explore the various types available and some of the significant differences and similarities that exist between them. Automatic transmissions are very complex pieces of equipment designed to deliver thousands of miles of trouble-free operation. They have been refined over decades to provide improved fuel economy and a better overall driving experience. Much of this refinement involves the use of electronics, but modern materials and higher performance demands require that the transmission fluid keep pace with the technology. Starting at the front of the transmission is the torque converter. The torque converter provides a fluid coupling between the engine and the transmission, and it is filled with ATF. When the engine rotates the torque converter at a fast speed, a fluid connection is established allowing the transmission to turn. When the engine slows down, the connection is broken and the engine can idle without stalling. This all happens without parts in the torque converter coming into contact with each other. Although a fluid coupling works well, a mechanical connection between the transmission and engine is much more efficient. So a lockup clutch is contained within the converter that engages under certain circumstances such as screws. A fluid with the right frictional properties is important for this to happen smoothly. Automatic transmissions are hydraulic systems, and all of them have a pump. The pumps create pressure and flow to operate the transmission, and they may be a piston, vane, or gear type. ATFs have to protect these pumps from wear and maintain their viscosity to prevent metal-to-metal -metal contact. Automatics also contain specialized gears, called planetary gears. These gears can be straight or helical cut, and like any gear, require lubrication, which the ATF provides. To continue with transmission components, clutches and bands lock and unlock the planetary gear sets in different combinations to provide the various gear ratios required by the vehicle. They both contain friction material and rely on ATF to have the correct frictional properties to allow smooth engagement and firm holding power. The valve body is responsible for routing pressure and flow within the transmission where and when it is needed. Valve bodies consist of complex passages and spool valves that are built to very close tolerances. ATF has to keep the valve body clean and free of varnish to avoid sticking valves or plugged passages. Other important components that rely on ATF include the seals. ATF must keep the seals soft and in good shape to prevent leaks. In the previous slide, we examined the various components of an automatic transmission. While each of these components performs a similar job in every transmission, they may contain unique materials or have different performance requirements depending on the manufacturer. Because of this, manufacturers issue specifications that outline the minimum performance levels for fluid used in their transmissions. There are dozens of transmission fluid specifications, but here we see some more common ones for domestic, European, Asian, and heavy-duty transmissions. Since there are so many specifications, the remainder of this presentation will focus on a few of them to illustrate the differences. Every ATF specification requires specific fluid characteristics and contain tests that cover the subjects on this slide. Viscosity is tested to determine if it meets the manufacturer's fuel efficiency and cold weather performance requirements. Wear protection is an obvious requirement since automatics contain gears, bearings, and pumps. Frictional tests determine the harshness of shifts and chatter resistance. Oxidation tests ensure the fluid will resist thickening and acid formation, and seal tests prove the fluid will interact well with the seal materials chosen by the manufacturer. There are two important viscosities that are measured for transmission oils, and these requirements differ by manufacturer. First, kinematic viscosity is measured at 100 degrees Celsius. As illustrated in this slide, each manufacturer specification will have a minimum or maximum viscosity at this temperature. Looking at these numbers, it's easy to see that one fluid cannot cover all the viscosities for these manufacturers. For instance, if the fluid is at 7.7 .7 centistokes, it can meet the Dextron 3, ATF plus 4, Mercon, TES 295 specifications, but it is too thick to meet the Dextron 6 or Mercon LV and SP specs. This does not mean that the thicker fluid would never work in the lower viscosity applications, but it does mean they are not what the manufacturer intended. 
This viscosity difference is one reason Anzoil offers ATF to cover a majority of specifications and ATL to cover the lower viscosity specifications. The second viscosity is the Brookfield viscosity measured at minus 40 degrees Celsius. This number is an indicator of the fluid's cold weather performance. Generally, fluids with a lower Brookfield number will flow better at low temperatures. Since all automatic transmissions contain gears, bearings, and other components that have the possibility of metal-to-metal -metal contact, transmission fluid specifications require wear testing. This testing could be any combination of the FCG gear scuffing test, vein pump, four ball, Timken, or individual specialized testing determined by the manufacturer. Often standard tests are modified by raising or lowering temperatures or increasing test times. It all depends on how the transmission is built and what its expected operating parameters are. Passing the required tests within the manufacturer's tolerances are a good indication the fluid will adequately protect the transmission from wear. Preventing wear is important for transmission longevity, but just as important are the transmission fluid's frictional properties. Every automatic transmission has frictional materials bonded to the clutches and bands that engage and disengage parts of the planetary gears and similar materials used in lockup clutch and the torque converter. The materials used vary widely, but the most common in today's transmissions are carbon fiber, graphitic, and organics, also known as paper. Each of these materials has unique properties that must work with the ATF to ensure they slip just enough to allow smooth engagement and then hold firmly while engaged. Slipping too much or slipping and locking repeatedly while engaging will result in unwanted shutter and vibration and result in premature wear. To ensure this doesn't happen, transmission specifications require ATF to pass very rigorous friction tests. These friction durability and cycling tests are performed on very expensive purpose-built test stands that can measure vibration and frictional properties. The cycling tests repeatedly engage friction surfaces thousands of times to ensure the fluid's frictional properties are durable through the life of the fluid. All ATFs have to be resistant to oxidation. Oxidation causes fluid to thicken and acid and sludge to form, causing malfunction and corrosion in the transmission. Manufacturer specifications require testing to ensure the fluid meets their expectations. As an example, GM runs the fluid in a transmission under controlled conditions in the General Motors oxidation test, and Ford uses a bench test called the aluminum beaker oxidation test. Regardless of what test is used, the fluid properties are measured after the test to determine acid and viscosity increase and other characteristics that could be affected by oxidation. These must not exceed the specification limits. Seals are just as important as any other component of the transmission, and they are not overlooked in fluid specifications. Each manufacturer uses one or several seal materials throughout their transmissions. These may be off-the-shelf materials or specially formulated materials specific to the manufacturer and the fluid used in the transmission must be chemically compatible with them. Typical seal materials include fluoroelastomer, floral carbon, nitrile, and polyacrylate. To test compatibility, these materials are soaked in the test transmission fluid at a temperature and time specified by the manufacturer. At the end of the test, the material hardness, volume, and elongation are checked against the specification limits. Most often, the best results are achieved when the material swells slightly and softens. Now that we've established that many transmission fluid specifications exist, and have looked at a few of the tests required to ensure the fluid meets those specifications, we'll take a look at multi-vehicle ATF. Although each specification may set different limits on a fluid's characteristics, the next few slides will show that it's very possible to build a transmission fluid that meets them all. Again, there are dozens of specifications, and we've only picked a few characteristics and specifications to demonstrate the point. By necessity, multi-vehicle fluids are very complex. Their benefit comes by eliminating the possibility of using the wrong fluid and allows you to service multiple vehicles with one fluid. This inventory consolidation comes in handy when you or your business owns multiple vehicles. We'll start with Brookfield viscosity and compare Amsoil ATF to the maximum limits of four specifications. In order to meet the Brookfield limits of all four of these specifications at minus 40 degrees Celsius, Amsoil ATS Brookfield viscosity can be no higher than 10,000 centipoise, 
which is the maximum limit for ATF plus four. At 9,500 centipoise, Amsoil ATF meets all these specifications for Brookfield viscosity. None of the specifications have a lower limit. Now let's look at a wear test limit. In this example, both the Mercon 5 and ATF plus 4 specifications require an FCG load stage pass score of 11. Amsoil ATF achieved a load stage pass score of over 12, more than what's needed for these specs. As a last example, we'll look at the kinematic viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius. Since ATF plus 4 has a low and high limit for this viscosity measurement, I've included both on the chart. To meet all these specifications, a fluid cannot have a viscosity of lower than 6.8 centistokes, which is low limit for Mercon 5, or higher than 7.8 centistokes, which is the upper limit for ATF plus 4. Amsoil ATF has a kinematic viscosity of 7.5 centistokes at 100 degrees Celsius and meets all these kinematic viscosity requirements. Now that we've looked at a few simple examples of how one fluid can meet several specifications, we'll talk a little about the ATFs offered by Amsoil. Amsoil's most popular ATF is its fully synthetic multi-vehicle product. Amsoil ATF is recommended for many foreign and domestic applications. It has great low temperature performance and protects against oxidation, corrosion, foaming, and wear. It maintains its frictional properties throughout the service life of the fluid, and as demonstrated in previous slides, it often exceeds individual specification requirements. We mentioned earlier in the presentation that viscosity requirements make it impossible for any one fluid to meet all specifications, so Amsoil offers low viscosity, fuel efficient ATF to cover multiple applications. These include applications requiring Dextron 6, Mercon LV, Mercon SP, Toyota WS, and Honda DW1. Like multi-vehicle ATF, Amsoil ATL exhibits excellent cold weather performance, protects against oxidation, corrosion, foaming, and wear, and is backwards compatible per the manufacturer's recommendation with the fluids I just mentioned. Amsoil ATD is a fluid designed for use in heavy-duty automatic transmissions. These transmissions are found in numerous vehicles from buses to dump trucks and are often exposed to severe operating conditions such as frequent stopping and starting in all weather conditions. ATD replaces Castrol Allison Transcend and provides consistent smooth clutch engagement. Its synthetic construction allows for excellent cold and hot temperature performance, delivering a better fluid film than a conventional lubricant under these conditions. The final Amsoil product we'll talk about is Amsoil Super Shift. This fluid is designed for transmission used in racing, where firm clutch lockup and minimum slippage is extremely important. Super Shift can provide cooler operating temperatures, allowing for less wear and fewer transmission teardowns during the season. It also helps protect the transmission from corrosion when the vehicle is put into off-season storage. Joining us now is Peter Markham our Eastern Regional Sales Manager for Amsoil. And Peter, I heard you had a few questions for us. Uh, yes, I do, Mike. And the questions uh, we may or may not come up for dealers in sales situations, but it's something they need to be aware of, so they're ready for just these questions. The first is related to universal transmission fluids. Now, I understand that the technology is there to produce a multi-vehicle transmission fluid, but as far as a universal that meets all specifications for autos and trucks, is it possible to have one? Well, frictional properties and viscosity are two obstacles to covering all vehicles. Most transmissions can usually tolerate significant viscosity differences with no effects and nothing that you would ever notice. This is why you often see universal fluids covering high and low viscosity applications. Frictional properties aren't so easy to overcome and getting them wrong can result in real serious problems. Mike, you talked about the different automatic transmission fluids that Amsoil has. Can you tell me a little bit about the drain intervals for these? Sure, Peter. You should always follow the drain intervals recommended by Amsoil for each product and service condition. Now, Mike, I understand there are different driving conditions. What exactly is meant by severe service? Well, Peter, every manufacturer has their definition of severe service, but some examples are turbo or supercharged engines, commercial or fleet vehicles, excessive idling, daily short trip driving less than 10 miles, frequent towing, plowing, hauling, or dusty condition driving. 
Well, these cover most scenarios. Always consult your manufacturer's descriptions to be sure. Now, I know there are companies that have an additive for automatic transmission fluids, but is it recommended to use an additive with any of the Amsoil automatic transmission fluids? No, Amsoil does not recommend that anything be added to its ATFs. Amsoil ATFs are carefully formulated to provide the best possible performance. Additives will not improve performance, and using them risks drivability problems or damage. This issue is so important, Amsoil has published a TSB and a recorded presentation describing these risks. During this presentation, we touched on several topics. We looked at automatic transmission components and talked about how important the fluid is to each of them. We looked at a few specifications and how they differed and how they are used to make sure the transmission fluid's performance meets manufacturer's expectations. We also provided a few examples demonstrating how one transmission fluid can meet or exceed multiple specifications. Well, thank you for joining us. I hope you found this presentation to be helpful in understanding some of the complexities of ATF. If you have further questions, please feel free to contact us at the email address or phone number provided on this slide. Once again, thank you for joining.